Good morning, everybody. Happy Saturday. Hope it's a happy Saturday for you. It is about 11.30 a.m. And I've been up this morning. Been a little busy this morning trying to just handle my business, get caught up on some things that I needed to do. Uh, if you have some time, please jump over to Self Love TV. I did upload a video there because I only... Uh, I really didn't do my normal where I try to do at least one or two videos and it's been more than a week ago so if you get some time please jump over and check out that video and hope it's something that will encourage you or inspire you in some way comfort you in some way because we're definitely needing comfort at this time um, today I will be talking to you guys uh, I forgot what my subject matter was but I'm actually I have a couple errands that I need to run today before I do this and guys I, I have notes everywhere <laughs> I got notes everywhere. So, um, child, I can't. Anyway, <laughs> hold on. Let me find my notes and see what I was going to talk about here on Lydia's Life TV. And it has to do with living your life and not someone else's. We're going to talk a little bit about that. I'm going to give you some uh, affirmations of happiness and hopefully it will be something that will make you smile and something that will make you feel good and comfort because that's really what I want to send out the vibrations that I want to send out to you guys is some that I hope will um, make you feel good make you feel good because of the times that we're living in right now that's causing us so much anxiety guys I've been going through some things with my children so yeah so when children get on your heart any of you all that's mothers out there y'all know it doesn't matter how old they are, but when they get on your heart, it definitely can cause you anxiety and stress. So I've been dealing with that a little bit, but I am coping. I am managing. Um, I know that it will pass. I know that I have to stay faithful and prayerful that, um, you know, the things that happen in life, because we all have to experience, even our children, they have to go through things and, and learn and develop and grow. So, you know, hopefully... I can be a source of guidance, not trying to control them, not trying to tell them what to do, but hopefully I can do that. But yeah, I got to get out and do some errands and then we're going to have a little chat when I come back. So if you're interested in this video, keep watching. I'll see you in a minute. Hello ladies, welcome back to the channel. Today is Saturday and I'm so happy to be here with you all today. I wanted to share with you guys that my day started out a little bit of a drag. I had uh, an early morning, it started probably around 6.15 this morning from a phone call. And so my day was trying to shape up into being uh, a downer. But you know what I decided to do was to shift my thoughts because actually there was nothing that I could do to change the information that I received this morning. It was absolutely nothing that I could do. So I could choose to allow that information to shape and mold my entire day and be dragging around here all day long as if, you know, I lost my best friend, but I decided to just shift my thinking. And so I got up, I got dressed, I went out and did some things, ran some errands and things that I needed to take care of this morning, got me something to eat. And I'm having an amazing day. And I'm just going to start doing that more often. And instead of allowing things that, that come to me to make me feel horrible for the entire day. Sometimes you have to go ahead and accept what, what it is and just keep moving. So that's what I chose to do this morning. So I'm glad you guys are here today. And I was almost didn't make this video. But I did upload a video this morning um, to Seth Love TV. And in the introduction, I asked you guys to go out and check it out. If you haven't, I'm going to leave a link to Seth Love TV in the description bar be below for those of you who are not uh, subscribed. And if you're not, why not? It's just an extension of this channel. <laughs> so if you have not subscribed, I would really appreciate it. It helps the channel. It helps me to continue to grow and to develop um, the things that I'm trying to do here on this, this platform for my brand and I would appreciate it. So today we're going to be talking about, um, uh, living our lives or are we living someone else's life? And at the end of this video, I'm going to give you some affirmations of happiness. I have started this whole routine of affirmations and I speak affirmations to me 
if not daily, at least weekly, a few days out of the week, I try to speak things that are, are positive. Sometimes it's affirmations of love, of happiness, of success. You have to speak to yourself those things that you want to manifest. So today, before I leave this video, we will be um, having a few um, affirmations of happiness that you can recite to yourself, that you can get in the mirror and say in the mornings, and hopefully it'll start to make you feel happy and or either get you in the mood to start trying to work on that area of your life that keeps you in that rut, that keeps you sad. So we're going to jump into the video so it won't be really, really long. It may be a lengthy video, but hopefully it won't be too long. So if you're interested, keep watching. All right. It's important that the life that you're living is your life and that you are not trying to live up to expectations of other people or allowing other people to influence the way that you live. Oftentimes that is a factor. You know, sometimes we're afraid to show people who we truly are. So we allow them and their thoughts to influence our choices, um, uh, things that we like. We allow other people to do that. One of the things I had to realize is that if, if I'm going to be me 100% authentically, I have to allow people to know who I am and to love this person. Not who you think I am, but who I truly am. And, you know, this is not something that I just recently started working on. This has been me for a while, guys. So this is, this is actually something that I've worked through and have become and am. I am living. So it's important that we stop allowing people's influence to have so much control over the lives that we live. Now, I took some notes because y'all know I'm a note taker. In the middle of the night, I'll get up with an epiphany. So I keep paper and pen by my, by my bed so that when I have a thought, I just wake up in the middle of the night, I jot it down, and sometimes it develops a, a video from that. So um, uh, one of the things in allowing people to uh, influence or determine our choices is that we are trying to please them. You know, we have those special people in our lives that we love. Oh my gosh. It could be your children, your parents, um, your significant other, your spouse. And so we allow the things that they want for us or the things they decide for us to be our choices. And everybody's an individual and everybody has a right to like what they like and do what they want to do. And we have a right to just be, just be. Even here on this platform, you know, I get on here and I share with you guys um, my thoughts. I share with you guys experiences and things that I've gone through. But ultimately, the way you choose to live your life and the things that you choose to do are yours. So with the words that I speak to you are words that hopefully will inspire you into your own inspire you to decide the things that you want. You don't have to live your life like me. You don't have to do the things that I do, but to inspire you to think for yourself and to do for yourself and to be who you want to be without the influence of people who are trying to control your life or trying to um, direct you in a certain path, telling you what you should do, how you should dress, what you should like, what you should eat. The things that I share with you guys hopefully will get you to start working through those areas of your life where you might need a little direction, but certainly it be authentic in your own path. Also, social pressure is also determining how people live. It can cause envy because, I'm going to tell you something, guys. A lot of people get on these social media platforms and they, they pretend now, I'm not going to say everybody do it. Some people's lives are as what they post. But sometimes people can get out here and they can show you things that aren't simply true to make you believe that their lives are certain in a, going in a certain direction. And that can be, um, that can cause envy. That can cause uh, jealousy sometimes because if you're working hard, you're doing all the right things, sometimes you, you have a tendency to look at things and be like, man, you know, why my life is not that successful? Why my life is not that prosperous? Why, why am I having to work so hard? Why am I going through so many challenges just to get a small portion of what they seem to have? 
So we have to stop looking around us at other people and 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 wanting what they want because a lot of times what you see is not exactly what it is. You have to decide the things in your life that you specifically want and where you want to go with your life. And I, <laughs> I'm going to tell you guys, you know, my life does not have to be like anybody, nobody that follows me. I am an individual. I know the things that I want and it's subject to change. Y'all know that about a woman. A woman could want this today and want something else tomorrow. So just be you all the time and, and not try to be uh, anybody that um, that's around you. Just be you. If people can inspire you to reach higher, then use that influence from them. But certainly try to be yourself and not try to be like other people. And don't allow social media or just uh, your surroundings and your environment to put that pressure on you to, to be something that you're not. Status is reaching statuses that you're not. Decide what it is that, it, that you truly want. You know, what kind of life you want. Whether it is a life of successful um, a career or money or whatever it is, or even if it's a simple, simplistic life of living in the wilderness, whatever it may be, off grid, whatever your life is or the things that you want to be, make sure it's what you want and not what somebody else wants for you. So that's very, very, very important. Um, what else did I have here? Yeah, looking, looking across the grass at the next lawn and the grass seems to be greener on that side. That was a comment I made here. And it's not always as so. Everything that you see is not what it is. So stop wishing for that other lawn because you might get over there, cut the grass, and there's snakes in there. So, you know, make sure that you grow your own grass <laughs> and be happy with what you have. Yeah. Another thing that we need to think about is that you cannot control how people think about you. You know, often even on this platform, I see people falling prey to um, things that people say. Um, when I first started this platform, and even up until maybe a few years ago, it did, it, it did bother me if I had uh, comments of people who had ideas or thoughts of who they thought I was or judging me in some way based on a video that I posted. Um, and it used to bother me because I was just thinking, you know, you know, why would they say such things about me? You know, they don't, they didn't know me, you know, so why were I, was, why am I allowing the thoughts of other people and what their judgment is on me to be, uh, in, to impact my life in any way, you know, because I am who I am. They don't know me. You know who you are. Nobody out here can tell you who you are. So stop allowing people's thoughts and opinions of you to influence you. You got to, you know, get a little bit of tough skin when it comes to that. And even if someone doesn't like it, it's okay because the right people will like it. The right people will get, you know, will gravitate towards you. And as you become older, it becomes a little bit easy. I will say that as you mature, you get to this area of life where you're just comfortable and, you know, or that or either it just don't even matter. It's just not even something that's important to you, uh, the thoughts of other people. But I know that in those years where you're trying to develop or you're trying to achieve certain things, it certainly can be something that can be impressionable or something that you uh, really look at. So be careful uh, in... Um, looking at and listening to thoughts of other people about you. Only you, knew, you know who you are. And just keep on your path and don't worry about what people say and let them, you know, be what they are. You know, people need to stop being so invasive into your life. You know, sometimes I see videos that I watch and people are just like really in their feelings about things and they'll get on there and they'll leave this big paragraph of, of their thoughts on someone's post and I'm thinking, man, you are too, you know, invested in this person's life. This is their life. We all have our own life. And even though you may see things sometimes that you don't necessarily agree with, it is not your place to decide or to try to make that person be different. You know, if, if they ask for comments or your thoughts, you can share your thoughts and comments. But then at that point, it's time to step away from it. Certainly badgering a person or trying to make a person be something that they don't want to be is not your place. You know, we put the information out there and hopefully the things that we share with people will be something that can touch their lives in some way or awaken them in an area of their life that maybe they need to be awakened or it may spiral a thought, you know, of something that they want to do. It may be totally different from what you said, but it could be something that turn that light on. 
So certainly that's very important. Stop allowing people to be so invasive in your life because it ain't their business. <laughs> when we allow people to be so invested in our life, you know, you and, and you're trying to live up to what they want. It's like a moving target. Think about a target that's continually moving all the time. You can't keep up with it. You're going to always be trying to shift and move and duck and dodge and all of this, trying to keep up with it. So you have to develop your own. You know, you can't be trying to follow this moving target because you would probably never hit it. You know, you would never hit the bullseye. We have to have a path of our own and, and follow that path and stop trying to be a clone to people that's around us and, and be like other people. Certainly people can inspire you. Certainly people can motivate you. But be yourself authentically. And I think that's very important. So I'm going to give you a few uh affirmations of happiness because I felt like today was a good day to share those because guys my day was just crazy when it started off and it actually started off with a little bit of tears but you know I feel very good today so I am better 100% better okay so here are a few that I just want to read and if you need to come back at some point and just listen to them or either write them down and recite them do so because i definitely believe that the more you you recite things over and over again this this computer here this brain up here will record it and it'll believe it and it'll start churning and sending those signals to your body that produce this happiness okay so it says i am happy right now my current situation does not determine my happiness I'm happy to be alive. I choose to find goodness in each day. I wake up feeling grateful. My life is good. I'm filled with light and positivity. My positive energy draws people near me. I understand happiness is a choice. Therefore, I choose happiness. I choose happiness. I choose happiness. Say it as many times as you need to. Life is happening for me, not to me. Life is happening for me, not to me. Each day is a new opportunity for me to have a new opportunity. Each day you wake up is a new opportunity. Each and every day is a new opportunity. You can change the things that happened on yesterday by waking up. If you are blessed to wake up, it's a new opportunity. And finally, I don't look for happiness because it's already within me. You know, oftentimes we go chasing after happiness. You know, we're looking, where's happiness? We try to find it in people. We try to find it in our jobs. We try to find it in, you know, buying things and fixing this body and all of that. But the happiness relies within you. And if you take the time to sit down and figure out what is it that keeps you from being happy, facing those things that have kept you stuck, allowing them to come up and come out and be honest about them, then you have an opportunity to allow the happiness to come out. It's just like light. When you turn on the light in darkness, it floods the room. You can no longer see in the darkness. So you have to open yourself up to allow the happiness to come out. So that's what I did this morning. Instead of allowing the bad news or the sad news, I'm not going to say bad news, but the sad news I received this morning to just take over my whole day and make my 24-hour Saturday a horrible day. I opened up the, the windows of light and allowed it to come in because truly there's nothing I can do, do about it. I choose happiness today. Choose happiness today. Don't let anybody outside influences decide what your day is going to be or what your life is going to be. That's totally yours. So I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the weekend and I will see you guys later in the week. Remember, I love you. Peace and love, kisses and hugs, and I'll see you real soon. Bye.